dear students welcome back for the today's new practical oriented session under the subject human anatomy and physiology this is very important for your foy b form and your foy d form students and the topic title is important spotting which is the part of practical examination for unit or sessional as well as final examination i sell mr abhijit ankush kuchre working as a lecturer in kcd krishna college of pharmacy karad so let us discuss one by one what are the different spots which is useful in your final as well as unit or sessional examination which is conducted by institute or colleges now let us discuss the spotting that spotting is divided into different parts part number a that is hematology in hematology we are already conducted all practicals like to count the hemoglobin to record sorry to count the rbcs wbcs and dlcs with the help of some apparatus which is used to check this blood cells and hemoglobin this also included in the spots for the human anatomy and physiology then the apparatus and instruments which is used to check the physiological parameters what are the physiological parameters like heart rate body temperature pulse rate blood pressure respiratory rate pulse oxygen bmi etc then point number c or part number c is the model or charts you can use some, uh, some models some charts for the specimen purpose i like all different body systems and the organs specific organs like heart kidney and sense organs also and last point is the microscopic slides which is covered under the tissue box as per the year 2020 the ci changed the syllabus and that implemented from 2021 and according to that i am divide the spotting part in the four different regions four different so let us discuss one by one this is the first part and you know the spot which is shown in the screen in front of you pause this video and think on that and write in your notebook or remember that what is the name of this spot yes the spot number 1 is newer counting chamber and this is spots generally used to counting the blood cells like rbc and wbc is also useful for some particulate material that is helpful to uh, remember or to recognize the different cells of the blood now next point also pause this video and remember or identify these two spots if you know the answer and here is the name of these spots spot number 2 is cell thermometer with the help of this thermometer we can identify or determine the quantity of hemoglobin in the blood and with the help of this tubes known as thermometer tube we can dilute the blood with the acid like we are using the uh, acid as a hydrochloric acid for to dilute the blood which form the acid hematin and the uh, reddish brown color is observed after addition of water this is the part of cell thermometer now next is these are the two pipettes i think you know the uh, spots a name of the spots and here is the name what is the use and how you identify who is uh, which is the red or white with the help of this mouth sucker you can use this mouth sucker that is uh, useful to suck the blood from the finger and that is the red according to that we can find out we can you know say that that this pipet is rbc this is the wbc these two pipets are useful for diluting or diluting of fluid at the blood and is also used to dilute the blood dear students whenever you write the spotting remember that according to mark distributions which is conducted by the university exam or maybe in institute exam the mark distribution is very important if you identify the spot only then uh, the spotting will be give only one mark if identify the spot with the description you write description then you got the two marks in this so as per the pattern of your examination you uh, think on the mark distribution first and then identify the spot and write the description 
this is very important and whenever you thinking on the write the description part remember that you write the any related point of that spot like use like parts like where it is used what is the function what are the different parts this is you know to write the spot of any uh, examination now let's discuss the point number b this is apparatus and instruments which is used to check the physiological parameters and you know i think uh, you know the answer of this spot yes this is the stethoscope what is the use of stethoscope it is used to record your heart rate pulse rate or maybe blood pressure and it is divided into three parts like ear piece chest piece and rubber this is the first instruments or apparatus which is used to check the physiological parameters now second one in front of you now to pause the video and think on that and write the answer name in your notebook or remember that what is the name and here is the name of that spot speak more manometer major ready it is used only to check the blood pressure or measure the hypertension and there are different parts like cuff you can cuff uh, tie into the bicep and pump the air with the help of air ball air wall and the mercury level is up and that check the uh, whether that is the type which type of blood pressure is present that is the systolic or diastolic blood pressure our next point these are the different thermometers i repeat these are the different thermometers and here is the one is the ir thermometer then digital thermometer and mercury thermometer these all thermometers are generally used to record the blood pressure as per the requirements जे स्पॉट्स तुम्हार लैब मे अरेन्ज के टीचर्स ने तुम्हार एक्जाम ऑथॉरिटी ने जो स्पॉट्स आइडेंटिफाई करता ना यू शूड रिमेम्बर वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट आई आर थर्मामीटर फ्रॉम द कोविड सीच्युएशन आई आर थर्मामीटर नवीन आए आता सिलबस मे सुधा आई आर थर्मामीटर है दैन डिजिटल थर्मामीटर दे शूंग द डिजिट्स इन द रीडिंग डिजिट फॉर्मैट सो यू डायरेक्टली से दिस इज द डिजिटल थर्मामीटर लास्ट टर्म इज द मर्क्यूरी थर्मामीटर that thermometer up the uh, mercury level after uh, inserting to the mouth below the tongue and with the help of these all thermometers we can record the blood pressure and if the normal temperature is blood temperature is 37 degrees celsius or 98.6 degree fahrenheit it is helpful to check the balance between the heat heat produced and heat lost from the body of the next spot i think you know the answer is only already mentioned in the spot that is the pulse oximeter that pulse oximeter generally useful to check the oxygen level in the blood and the heart and it is denoted by spo2 that spo2 means what saturation of peripheral oxygen into the blood how much quantity of blood is present in the blood what is prbm pulse rate beats per minute what is the normal range it is 95 degree or above it may shows that the oxygen level is Too much high whenever the above 95 degrees Celsius or below 95 degrees may be affects all critical condition. This is very important. A point number five is a peak flow meter. This is the innovative. This is the innovative uh, spots which is uh, added into the new syllabus which is framed by the PCI Pharmacy Council of India. Now what is the name of that spot? Is peak flow meter and with the help of this peak flow meter we can find out the how much expiratory flow rate of the air. or from your lungs je tumcha lungs madun mouth madun tumhi kiti air eka yacha madhe expel karta hai kyo bahar phodta hai yacha varun tumcha peak expiratory flow rate that is pefr ha count kela jato and it is in between 350 to 700 liters per minute Now let us move to the part number C. That is the modular charts, different systems and organs, which is syllab uh, syllabus part of the practical as well as the theory exam. Now let us discuss the first part. Is first part is the skeletal system. That skeletal system containing two major bones. I think you know the answers of these bones. Number one is the skull. Skull containing two parts, cranium and face bone. Cranium and face bone, according to their lobes, present in that spot. Now this is the another spot. Spot number second is the thoracic cage or the ribs. But here, my dear, you all, the parts separate from the whole body. Ribs which are lesser. Now, you all, sternum, the central part, this is the hardest to do. Sternum and the ribs protects the uh, major organs like heart and the lungs. the descriptive parts 
let us discuss the next part this is the all bones from vertebral column and what is the first one first one is the lumbar lumbar region following number it is the present in the lower back region of the body the lower vertebral column after cervical then thoracic third part is the lumbar then this one is the second cervical vertebra containing two like structure known as axis this is the first cervical vertebra ring like structure presence of foramen that is structure and last part is the sacramen corpus this is the first cervical or the ring bone like foramen containing sacrum is the fore and corpus is the first one. this two is the part of skeletal system and here is the first one is the scapula and second is the clavicle these two bones generally present in the upper limb scapula is located back side of the chest wall and it is in between second and seventh rib whereas the clavicle is known as a shaped collar bone directly attached to the sternum so two is also very very important and this remaining last part of the skeletal system this is the upper and lower limb bones this two bones is very very essential uh, for the spotting this two is a humerus and radius ulna which is the part of upper limb femur and tibia femur this two from upper limb and femur and tibia from the lower you can add the carpels metacarpals in upper limbs a tarsus metatarsal in lower limbs there is presence of pat patella is also present in the lower limbs this is about the skeletal system now let us move to the next organs the heart you remember whenever you write the spot of the heart tumhala heart che parts madhe kodi tari arrows kiwa label kele jate matlab arrows label kele nanto tumhala internal structure of heart pahit right atrium konta hai left atrium konta hai kutle walls hai kutle veins arteries involved ahe he sagal tumhala mahit hai then this is the model is the brain brain is the four lobes then presence of some functional areas into the structure of brain the next part is the urinary system these are the different parts of the urinary system starts from the adrenal glands me mention kele nahi but adrenal glands sudha hai ureters hai pair of kidney hai urinary bladder and ureter hai tumhala ya konte hi specific part vadi arrows kele jata arrows prepared kele jata and arrows the pages sheet kele jata and tumhala identify karala or maybe sampurna model identify kar the next model is fund number 5 is a digestive system stomach small intestine large intestine liver pancreas fakt mi labels je tumhala spotting la vichale jata tes mention kelele ahe so you identify that spots from the organs large intestine kuta small intestine kuta stomach region kuta asper is sagal tumhi tumcha lab madhe he model available asel tar manual ghun te bagun ghe and the next systems is respiratory system it starts from the nose pharynx larynx trachea bronchi alveola and lungs lungs madhe vicharla jate trachea vicharla jail bronchi vicharla jate so tumhala maiti endocrine systems madhe tumhi vele pineal glands base of the brain hypothalamus series of the thyroid gland parathyroid glands tanantar adrenal glands pancreas ahe male madhe testis female madhe ovaries these are the different endocrine glands which is present in the so tumhala kutla hi ek arrow specific arrow kela jail tar tumhala te hi identify kar Our next is the reproductive system, male and female reproductive system. Internal, external organs. Who are those? Two systems. Made, mighty budget. But whenever exam made spot, they will judge. They will major organs. Who will identify that? All budget for male reproductive body major organs. Ah, testes that production of the testes hormone. The cup must be ah, the penis is also important. Uh, then uh, sacrodome is also important. Prostate gland is also important. In female. इंटरनल एक्सटर्नल है दोनों पार्ट्स महत्वाचार है इंटरनल मे तुम्हें बगित ओरिज है बजाना है एक्सटर्नल मे बगल तो क्लिटोरिस लैबिया मेजरा मैनर आदि जाए तो डिफरंट ऑर्गन्स तो अशा पद्धति जे मॉडल्स ही तुम्हारा एक्जाम मेले जता नेक्स्ट इज द सेंस ऑर्गन सेंस ऑर्गन्स मे ऐज पर द सिलबस एंड द मैन्युअल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ये फ्लो तीन सेंस ऑर्गन्स घूमन आय है आई से तुम्हारा इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर विचार जी लाइक कॉर्निया पीपील लेन्स रैटिना एक्वेस्वेमर ही विचार जाऊ सकते इयर मे तुम्हारा एक्सटर्नल मिडल ऑडिटरी ऑसिकल जे स्मॉल तीन बोन्स है स्टेपस मैलेस एंड इनकस ही विचार जाऊ सकते स्किन मे ही तुम्हारा स्किन से लेयर्स विचार जिस इज अबाउट दॉइंट नंबर